It isn't fair. This guy over here is making tons of sales and he doesn't even use good keywords in his listings. Who, me? Yes, you, no tags Magoo over here, flaunting all of your fancy sales and such. Hey, why don't you do us all a favor and just like, please give me some advice because I really need to make my Etsy shop take off by like next month. Has this ever happened to you? You're analyzing your competitors only to find that some of the biggest sellers in your industry don't even use good keywords in their listings. Or even crazier, they don't even have any tags at all. For those who are new here, my name is Starla Moore, founder of the Handmade Alpha Academy for Etsy sellers and manager at eRank.com, Etsy's most popular SEO tool. And over the last 10 years, I've dedicated my entire life to understanding the mysterious ways of Etsy's search algorithm. How does it work? How do you rank in search? And why the heck is this guy over here making so many sales when he hasn't even optimized his tags and titles? I'm sorry. So the real question is, are we at a disadvantage here? And is Etsy search unfair in 2022? Before we dive into the details, I wanna take a moment to give a quick shout out to this week's featured shop. Thanks so much for your love and support. If you'd like to submit for your own shout out, tag Handmade Alphas in a photo or screenshot of yourself watching this video, either in your Instagram feed or Instagram stories. Etsy's search algorithm is a complex machine that learns, changes, and adapts in order to give shoppers the very best experience on the platform. Platform. This means that through Etsy's personalized search feature, they can recommend products to a shopper based on that specific shopper's interest and past history on the platform. But personalization isn't the only factor that determines who sees your items in search. Etsy has a whole list of criteria that they use when ranking shops in search, some of which they tell us and some of which they keep a secret. But of those factors, there are seven that Etsy tells us about. And if you want to learn about all seven of those factors so that you can work to rank next to this guy over here, hey, then be sure to click on this link up here to watch my free Etsy SEO workshop. But today we are going to focus on just one of these factors. The reason that some sellers do so well while others have to dig in with their fingernails to even make an inch of traction. That factor is listing quality. Your listing quality score is a secret score that Etsy assigns to every single listing on the platform. You don't get to see it, but you can sense it. For example, have you ever made one sale? only to have another sale of the exact same item pop up a few hours later. Spooky, right? That's the ghost of listing quality popping in to say hello. Your listing quality score grows through positive customer interactions. This means that every time a listing sells, every time a listing receives a positive review, and every time that listing gets an organic favorite from search. Note that I said organic organic favorite. You can't just link your products on Facebook and ask everybody to go and favorite them. The Etsy machine is a smart cookie and it knows the difference between someone stumbling across your listing versus sending traffic to your listing. However, remember when I said that listing quality grows when you make sales? Etsy doesn't care if you sent those sales right to your shop through external marketing, through social media, an email list, a paid ad, or a blog feature. Sales boost your listing quality score, no matter where the sales came from. So let's go back to no tags Magoo over here. Seriously? When you encounter a seller that is at the very top of their industry, but they have no good keywords in their title, bad tags, or no tags at all, it likely means the seller has quality scores that are so amazing, Etsy is ranking them anyway. It's very likely that the seller is either sending traffic through their own external marketing, thus raising their listing quality scores, or they've simply been selling on Etsy for a really long time and have accumulated those scores after years and years of hard work. Either way, even if you were to copy their exact listings and try to replicate their success, your identical listing still wouldn't rank beside theirs because that listing wouldn't have the same listing quality. Aw, shucks. So, does this mean that Etsy is unfair? That you have no chance? That we should all send nasty messages to this guy? Well, not exactly. Though Etsy does favor shops with higher listing quality scores, it definitely doesn't mean that they're unfair. In fact, Etsy does something pretty amazing to help new listings get a leg up in search. 
Obviously, when you add a new listing to your shop, it doesn't have a listing quality score yet, since customers haven't had any time to interact with it. Because of this, Etsy gives all new listings a small boost in search in order to observe how shoppers will interact with it. Over a period of 60 to even 90 days, Etsy's able to assign that listing a shiny new quality score based on the data that they collected. Did a lot of people find and favorite the item while shopping? Did anyone buy it? Did they review it? These are all factors that tell Etsy to show this listing to more people. Was the listing ignored by shoppers? This means that Etsy will likely show the listing to fewer people, but don't let this discourage you. You can still boost that listing quality score on your own by driving sales through social media marketing. And remember, listing quality is just one of seven ranking factors that you can leverage in order to build your shop traffic and sales. In my Science of Etsy Success Workshop, you'll learn how to tango with the Etsy search algorithm in order to appeal to all of the other six factors Etsy uses in their ranking criteria. The link to that video will be pinned in the video comments and listed in the video description below. Overall, ranking on Etsy takes time, practice, and a lot more than just good keywords in your tags and titles. With a little science, a lot of data, and some help from a trusted Etsy SEO expert, you'll be well on your way to Etsy success. Cue the funky lo-fi beat.